Hello, hello, good morning. Okay. Good morning, one more time. Thank you, Mia, for writing present. Okay, Herson, Mia Rivera, Santiago, Carlos Arias, good morning. Okay, good job. So be ready with your book and your notebook, yes? Okay, because we, today we use both materials. So be ready with both, book and notebook, yes? Okay, excellent. So let's see, right now we are seven participants and I need that enter the majority because I give you or I tell you some important information for the next week, yeah? Okay, so let me check eight participants. Hi, Gerard. Okay, Esther, Carlos Arias, Santiago, Christian, Fabiola, welcome to your EFL class. Okay, Herson. Excellent. So let's see, first one we use our notebook, yes? So be ready with notebook. Okay, excellent. So let's see, good job, nine participants. So let me check. Okay, I give you some important information for next week, yeah? Okay, remember next week we have evaluations. So I evaluate reading in EFL, but you know, in reading, we don't have book, but in EFL, yes, we have book. Okay, so the next week I check your book and what is the, um, let me see, what is the activity for checking the book? Okay, I'll explain you in Spanish, yes? And then we switch. Okay, la próxima semana tenemos evaluaciones. Esa semana, ok, vamos a tener clase de repaso, una clase dedicada al repaso de la materia de IFL, una clase dedicada a su evaluación mensual y una clase dedicada a la revisión del libro. Ok, ¿cómo vamos a hacer la revisión del libro? Va a ser por medio de Zoom, ok, como una reunión como esta y yo le voy a pedir a usted, por ejemplo, vamos a llegar probablemente hasta la página 26, ok, de nuestro trabajo. Entonces yo le voy a pedir a usted que vaya abriendo su libro en ese momento, ok, o en esa sesión en que yo voy a revisar su libro, usted tiene que tener su cámara encendida, ok. Ahí sí le voy a pedir que todos tengan su cámara encendida, porque yo necesito ir viendo las páginas de su libro. Entonces, la revisión va a consistir desde la página 4, que es donde comienza la unidad 1, hasta la página 26, que es donde vamos a trabajar esta semana. Entonces, cuando yo diga, ok, chicos, me muestra la página 1, todos ustedes en su cámara, ok, o enfrente de su cámara, en su pantalla, me va a mostrar la página 1. Y yo voy a ir chequeando todo lo que usted ha hecho, ok, a cada uno de ustedes. Luego yo voy a decir, ok, chicos, me muestra la página 4 o la página 5. Entonces, todos me van a mostrar su página 5 en pantalla, ok. Esa es la forma en cómo yo voy a evaluar. Por lo tanto, sí, le voy a pedir que para esa sesión usted pueda tener su cámara encendida porque yo necesito ver el trabajo que usted ha realizado de su libro porque esa va a ser la forma en cómo yo lo voy a chequear. Recuerde, voy a chequear desde la página 4 hasta la página 26, ¿ok? Que es donde vamos a llegar esta semana, ¿de acuerdo? Desde la página 4 hasta la página 26. Ténganlo en cuenta porque si hay algún ejercicio que usted no ha terminado de desarrollar, debe de completarlo, ¿sí? Porque yo voy a ver que eh, tenga todo completo, ¿ok? Muy bien, vamos a ver. No sé si logra visualizarme. Me están diciendo por acá que tengo la pantalla negra. Dígame si logra verme. No he compartido pantalla ahorita, ¿ok? ¿Sí? Ok, perfecto. Bien, voy a repetirlo porque hay unos que ingresaron un poquito tarde. Muy bien. Eh, ok, Fabiola. La próxima semana vamos a tener tres sesiones. Una de repaso de los temas que van a venir en el examen. La otra hora es la que usted va a tener para poder hacer su evaluación. Y la siguiente hora es donde vamos a revisar libro. Ok, la metodología para revisar libro es con cámara encendida. Es decir, en una sesión Zoom, así como ahorita, usted va a encender su cámara y yo le voy a ir pidiendo. Ok, todos me van a mostrar la página 4. Entonces, todos me van a poner su página 4 frente a su cámara, ¿ok? Y yo voy a ir chequeando ejercicio por ejercicio, si lo tiene completo. Luego yo voy a decir, ok, ahora todos, muéstrame su página 5. Entonces, todos me van a mostrar página 5 para ver si todos la tienen completa, 
Todo, muéstrame página 6 y así sucesivamente, ¿ok? Hasta llegar a la página 26. Voy a evaluar desde la página 4 hasta la página 26 de su libro de IFL. Esto solo es con IFL, ¿ok? Porque tenemos un libro en físico. Reading no tenemos libro físico, por lo tanto no vamos a evaluar libro en reading. Solamente en la materia de IFL, ¿ok? Si tiene alguna duda con respecto a esto, me puede escribir y yo con gusto le voy a estar eh, respondiendo, ¿ok? Todas las inquietudes que usted tenga. Ok, excelente. So, let's see. Right now we start with the class, yes? Ok, EFL class. This one is the first class of the week. So, remember, in that part, or in that case, we start with unit number three, yeah? Ok, so let's see. Notebook. So be ready with your notebook because you develop the cover page of the unit. Okay, that's mean this one. Okay, excellent. Eh, no, Carlitos, no me va a enviar las fotos. Okay, yo voy a, vamos a tener una sesión Zoom, así como esta. Y en esa sesión usted me va a estar poniendo en pantalla su libro. Ahí yo voy a ir chequeando que tenga todos los ejercicios completos. Okay. No me va a enviar foto de libro, sino que yo lo voy a chequear en una sesión como la que estamos haciendo ahorita. Ok. Excellent. So let's see. Monday, April 19, 2021. We are the different with Jesus. Ok. And the name of the unit is Unit 3, The Power of Nature. Yes. Ok. So let's see. You have five minutes for developing the cover page of the unit on your notebook. Yes. So let's start right now. Okay, remember, write the date, write our lemma, okay, in the name of the unit, the, that is unit three, the power of nature. And we discuss or we talk about nature, and for that reason, I put this image, okay, so you can draw some trees, okay, a river, a lake, a mountain, etc. Yes? Ok, we are together in the meeting. Vamos a estar todos juntos en la reunión. Ok. And I check every, let me see, every camera of every student. Yeah. Ok, Harrison, tell me. Miss, entonces lo que, lo del trabajo, lo que hay que enseñárselo. Usted uh -huh. nos va a enviar así como, pero así en otra, miren. Sí, yo le voy a enviar el enlace. Ok, va a tener un horario. Uh, es que yo, pen yo pensaba que iba a ser en esta lo que íbamos a hacer. No, eso es en la próxima semana, ok. La próxima semana se le va a ver un horario en donde va a especificar qué día tiene el examen, ok, qué día es la clase de repaso y qué día va a ser la clase para evaluarle su libro, ok. Yo voy a enviarle okay. el enlace. Gracias. Ok. Ok, so let's see. Okay, so you develop the cover page. You can draw different things, yeah, related to nature, not only this one, yeah. But if you want to draw in that form, that's okay. Remember, this one is the cover page of the unit. Unit number three, the power of nature, okay. You draw trees, uh, let me see, river, lake, mountains. Okay, remember the power of nature is, let me see, big. Okay, the majority of the time they cause disasters. Yeah, because the nature, uh, let me see, feel bad. Yeah. Yeah, this one is due to the different buildings. Okay. The different facts, exactly. Because our earth and our nature is in danger. Okay, Carlos, tell me. Miss, no es una pregunta sobre lo que vamos a hacer la próxima semana. Es una okay. pregunta sobre esta clase. Ok, tell me. Vamos a trabajar la página 24. Yes. Today we work on it. Yeah. Yo quiero participar. Yo okay. quiero participar. Okay. Ya, ya, ya resolví los ejercicios. <laughs> ok, so let's see. Let's wait some minutes. Yeah. Okay, and I give you the opportunity to participate. So let's see, unit three, the power of nature. Today is Monday, April 19th, 2021. 
we are the different with Jesus. Yes, okay, remember you color the cover page and you can use different letter or different script, yeah? Okay, in that case it's possible. Okay, I give you five minutes. Okay, but in this case, let me see, three more minutes and then we continue, yeah? Okay. So let's see, remember to send the evidence okay, that you develop the cover page of this unit. So the power of nature. This one is a topic that I evaluate on your test. Yes, the vocabulary of this unit. So you can start, okay, practicing this one at home. Okay, good job, congratulations, you are working. I hope that you, okay, draw in a good way. Excellent. Okay, Harrison, do you have a question? Tell me. Yo solo quería decir si puedo participar en la página 24. Okay, I take into account, yeah? <laughs> okay, let's see. So when you finish, please tell me, yeah, or in the chat. Miss, I'm finished or I did it, yeah? Because it is necessary. Okay, two minutes. Okay, Harrison, thank you very much. And remember, you color the drawings, yeah? It's better if you color. And in that form, you show your creativity and also your word neatness, yeah? Okay, excellent. Okay, one minute and we continue. Okay, this one is a unit three, the power of nature. Remember when we mention this word, nature, okay, we think about different things, okay? Trees, animals, okay, plants, uh, let me see the weather, yeah, okay, we think in places, etc. yeah, because this one involve different topics. Ah, that's good, excellent, Herzo. Ah, excellent, Carlos, thank you very much. Okay, good job. Yeah, remember, Miss Amanda like all drawings with colors. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Ten seconds and we continue. Yes. When the class finish, you can finish in this part. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Let's continue. Okay. So be ready with your book. This one is on page 24, unit three, the power of nature. Okay, and in that uh, unit, okay, we talk about different words or different, let me see, vocabulary related to natural disasters, okay? And also adjectives that describe the natural disasters in that case. Okay, so the first exercise says that you find and you unscramble the names of disasters. Okay, so this one are news. Okay, you know that news in Spanish means noticias. Yes, LH news. Yeah, so this one is, let me see, uh, a documental or maybe, okay, news related to that. So let's see, let's start. Okay, Carlos Arias, what is the first one? Okay, so. Let me check. Okay, what is the first word that we discovered? Then Harrison. Tornado. Okay, but this one is in Spanish, yeah? In English you say tornado, yeah? Tornado. <laughs> Excellent, okay, thank you very much. So let's see, this one is tornado, yeah? So you write in the correct form, T-O-R-N-A-D-O, -O, tornado, yeah? Herson, next one, and then Anderson, yes? Okay, and then Carlos Cornejo. Okay, Herson. ¿Me escucha, Miss? Yes, I hear you. Ah, okay, este, earthquake. Okay, good job. This one is an earthquake, exactly, okay? E-A-R-T-H-Q-U-A-K-E, 
earthquake. And next one, Anderson. Hello, Miss. Hello. Uh, tsunami. T S U N A M I. Tsunami. Excellent. Okay, tsunami. Yes, this one is the correct spell. The form that we write. Good job. So let's see. We have the first one tornado in Midwest. Okay, then we have earthquake hits cost and tsunami on its way. Yeah, so this is an expression that we use. Oh, the majority of reporters can okay, use when they let me see, reports of an accident or maybe a natural disasters, yeah? Okay, so let's see, next part. So we find and unscramble. We have the first three words. We continue with next one. Okay, Carlos Cornejo. Uh, okay, hurricane. Okay, excellent, thank you. This one is hurricane, yeah, okay. H U R R K I C A N E, hurricane. Let's see. Next participant in that case, let me check. Okay, Adriana Barahona, next one. Flood. Okay, flood, yeah. F L O O D, flood. Marcos. Hola, ¿me escuchan? Hi, yes, I hear you. Yes. Eruption. E-R-U-P-T-I-O-N. Okay. okay, excellent. Eruption, yeah. So this one is the correct spell. Excellent. And the last one, let me check someone who... Mario. Okay, the last one. Uh, worse. Okay, so this one is drought. Yeah, <laughs> excellent. Okay, drought. D R O U G H T. Drought. Okay, thank you very much. So let's see. In that case, okay, Hurricane Susan hits Miami. Yeah, this one is the name of the hurricane. Yeah, Susan. Then we have flood leaves city underwater. Okay, so remember here in our country, okay, different people, okay, during the year suffer this kind of disaster, okay, flu, because the majority of the communities, okay, are underwater. For that reason, it's important, okay, to take the necessary, let me see, activities, okay, for rescuing these people or for protecting them. Then we have eruption of Mount Etna, yeah. This one is, for example, right now in, let me see, San Vicent, okay? This one is a country. We have a volcano, okay? That create a big eruption. Let's see. And then we have these years, drought is worse than ever, okay? What does it mean, drought? This one in Spanish means sequía, yeah? That's mean when, uh, let me see, it doesn't rain. This one is the meaning. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Now let's check the vocabulary part. So in this case, we have hurricane, we have flu, eruption, we have drought, tornado, earthquake, okay, and tsunami. Yeah. We have these vocabulary words. Okay, Carlos Cornejo. Tell me, you have a doubt? No, no, no. I. Okay. <laughs> okay, excellent, Carlos. Thank you very much. So let's see, this one is on page number 24. Remember, this one is vocabulary related to natural disasters. Yes? Okay, so we have, let's see, drought. Let me check, earthquake, eruption. So we have flood, hurricane, tornado, and tsunami. Yeah, this one is the vocabulary that we practice today. Good job. So let's see, let's continue, next part. Okay, so we have a stick, the missing parts. Okay, these one are adjectives. 
that we use for describe the different natural disasters. Yes? Okay. So let's see. You participate here, yeah? Okay, you finish? Good. So let me check. The first one, what do you think is the adjective? Power? What do you think is this one? Okay, we say powerful, yes. Okay, powerful, exactly, powerful. Then we have the next adjective that we use is, okay, raging. This one, or raging. Yeah, it's the pen of the pronunciation. Then we have violent. Okay, so you need your stickers. So you stick, okay, the suffix or maybe the prefix, which is the pen of the word. So you need your stickers and you stick in the, in the part that is missing. Okay, necesita sus stickers y va a pegar el pedacito que le hace falta, yeah? Okay, then we have dangerous. Okay, frightening. Then we have volcanic and destructive. Yes. Okay, this one are the adjectives for describing a natural disaster. Yes, we have powerful. Okay, so then we have origin, violent. Okay, then we have dangerous frightening, okay, then we have volcanic and destructive, yeah? Okay, so you stick, I give you some minutes, yeah? Then you paint the different stickers for forming the adjectives. This one we call long adjectives. Okay, why? Because these adjectives have three or more syllables. For that reason, we call long adjectives because they have three or more syllables. Okay, excellent. So let's see, remember this one you have on page 25. So you stick the complement of the word. In that case are adjectives, yes? Okay. When you finish or you did it, okay, you tell me. Okay, excellent. So let's see, we have powerful, okay, raging, violent, dangerous, frightening, volcanic, and destructive, yes? Okay, good job. So let's see, and now, we draw the path and discover the meaning. So we discover what is the meaning of these adjectives. Yes. Okay. You match or you draw the path with different color. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Powerful. Let's start in that part. Powerful. So you follow the path. Yeah. And you got this one, okay. And we discovered the meaning. In that case is very strong, powerful, very strong, yes? Okay, next one. Okay, then we have Arajan. In that case is very angry. Yeah, okay, very angry, this one. Then we have, let me see, violent. So we follow the path. Yes. And the meaning of this one is severe or extreme, yeah, violent severe or extreme. Then we have the next one, okay? We discover the definition. Dangerous, okay? The definition of this one is not safe, yes? That's mean unsafe, not safe. This one is the meaning of dangerous. 
Okay, you can uh, follow the path or draw the path with different colors. Yes, you can use your marker. I think we have, uh, let me see, frightening. Okay, in that case, what is the meaning of frightening? So let's see. Is scary, yeah? Okay, scary, frightening. Okay, volcanic, what is that? This one is something that is produced by a volcano, yeah? Volcanic, produced by a volcano. And then, okay, we have destructive. So this one is causing damage, okay? Destructive is something that is causing damage, okay? So let's see. This one are the definitions, yes? Okay, the first one is powerful, very strong, yeah? Okay, then we have Rajin. This one is very angry, violent, severe, or extreme. Okay, then we have dangerous, that's mean not safe. Volcanic, something that is produced by a volcano. Frightening, scary, and destructive. This one is something that is causing damage, yes? Okay, excellent. So let's see. Okay, you tell me when you finish, yes? In that case, this one are adjectives. Adjectives that describe natural disasters, yes? We can use these adjectives for describing, let me see, uh, an earthquake, for describing a tornado, a tsunami, yes? All of these one are long adjectives because they have more than two syllables, two or three syllables. For that reason, we call long adjectives. Yes? Okay, so let's see. I give you enough time, okay, for develop this activity, yes? Okay, so when you finish, you tell me, please. Miss I did it or Miss I finish, yes? Okay. Yeah, remember, some of you work very fast, but others need enough time, yeah, for working. And it's comprehensible, yeah? Okay, so let's see, excellent. Okay, Harrison, you finish, good job. Okay, who else? Let me see, Esther Cita, you did it. Gerard, Christian. Okay, Elias, you did it. Mia Rivera, you did it, good job. Okay, Santi. Uh, Daniel, Fernando. Okay, Ari, Josue Milorio, Dani Marín, Dani Borja. Okay, Marianne. Okay, Carlos Cornejo, you did it, good job. Let's see. Okay, Carlos Arias, you did it. Daniel, Diego Lopez, Ricardo, Fabiola. Okay, Marcos, Adriana. Okay, Mario, you did it. Anderson. Okay, Marianne, you did it, excellent. Fabiola Enriquez, yes, okay. Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> Diego Lopez, good job. Okay, excellent. So let's see, remember in this unit, okay, we learn two types of vocabulary. The first one is about natural disaster, yeah? And the second one are long adjectives that we use for describing the natural disasters, yes? Okay, excellent. 
So let's see, I think may I continue, yeah? Okay, good job. So let me clear all drawings here and let's continue. So let's see, now you listen, okay, this one is a text, it's a paragraph, that's mean this one is a text that a reporter, okay, in that case, a reporter of news, okay, maybe say or tell in front of a camera. So you listen and you complete with the correct long adjectives, yeah? So pay attention, please, because it is necessary that you listen, okay? So let's see, let's start. One, two, three. Track 19. Listen and complete the text. Now for news of some natural disasters around the world. Reports are coming in of a powerful tornado. In Louisiana, we're also getting news of a destructive earthquake. On the West Coast, it destroyed many buildings. A resident said it was a very frightening experience. Everything around me was moving. Experts say that a dangerous tsunami might be on its way. In Mexico, a raging hurricane is going to hit the Yucatan Peninsula tonight, bringing violent winds and heavy rain. And in Japan, Mount Fuji erupted last night. This was the biggest volcanic eruption in 300 years. Okay. So let's see, remember, in that case, you complete with the long adjective, yes? So let's listen one more time and you try to write the vocabulary that we learn. That's mean the long adjectives that we learn in exercise two, yes? Okay, let's listen again. Track 19. Listen and complete the text. Now for news of some natural disasters around the world. Reports are coming in of a powerful tornado. In Louisiana, we're also getting news of a destructive earthquake. On the West Coast, it destroyed many buildings. A resident said it was a very frightening experience. Everything around me was moving. Experts say that a dangerous tsunami might be on its way. In Mexico, a raging hurricane is going to hit the Yucatan Peninsula tonight, bringing violent winds and heavy rain. And in Japan, Mount Fuji erupted last night. This was the biggest volcanic eruption in 300 years. Okay, so let's see. I think that you complete, yeah? Okay, Fabiola Enriquez, give me the first answer. What do you write in the first space? Okay, reports are coming in now. Ah? Uh, mm, um, mm, Okay, I help you, yeah? It's definitely. Okay, powerful, yeah? This one is the first answer, okay? Powerful. Okay, Adriana Barahona, next one. Powerful tornado in Louisiana. Okay, Adri? Destructive. Okay, let's see. We are also getting news of a destructive earthquake. Excellent, on the West Coast. It destroyed many buildings. A resident said it was a very, okay, Carlos Cornejo. It was a very, okay, excellent. It was a very frightening experience. Yes, everything around me was moving. Experts say that, okay, Santiago Siguenza. That a dangerous tsunami might be on its way. 
Excellent, okay. Dangerous tsunami, good job. Okay, dangerous tsunami might be on its way. Good job. So let's see, next one. Let me check. Okay, Ricardo Gamero, do you have the answer? In Mexico, ah. Uh -huh. um, um. Okay, do you have the answer? I help you, yeah? In yeah, Mexico, please. okay. Arranging hurricane is going, okay. Arra yes, arranging. So hurricane is going to hit the Yucatan Peninsula tonight. Bring in, okay, what is next one? Let's see. Bring in, okay, Mia Rivera. Okay, can you activate your sound? Let's see. Okay, Marcos, help me please bring in. Hello, okay. Hello. Peninsula like bringing, a, bringing destructive winds. Okay, so let's see. In that case, the correct answer is violent, yeah? Because you use destructive in the beginning of a sentence, yes? Okay, bringing violent winds and heavy rain. And in Japan, Mount Fuji erupted last night. This was the biggest, okay, Harrison? Volcanic. Okay, the biggest volcanic eruption in 300 years. Yes, okay, check the answers, yes? Okay, so let's see now for news of some natural disasters around the world. Reports are coming in a powerful tornado in Louisiana, but are also getting news of a destructive earthquake on the West Coast. It destroyed many buildings, a resident said it was a very frightening experience. Everything around me was moving. Experts say that a dangerous tsunami might be on its way. In Mexico, a arranging hurricane is going to hit the Yucatan Peninsula tonight, bringing violent winds and heavy rain. And in Japan, Mount Fuji erupted last night. This was the biggest volcanic eruption in 300 years okay so let's see now we listen and we repeat okay the long adjective yes okay i'm sorry it's gonna be fun. let me talk. track 20 listen and repeat a powerful tornado a powerful tornado so let's repeat yeah a destructive earthquake a destructive earthquake a frightening experience. A frightening experience. A dangerous tsunami. A dangerous tsunami. A raging hurricane. A raging hurricane. Violent winds. Violent winds. A volcanic eruption. A volcanic eruption. Okay, good job. So let's repeat again, yeah? Because this one is part of the vocabulary. Track 20. Listen and repeat. A powerful tornado. A powerful tornado. A destructive earthquake. A destructive earthquake. A frightening experience. A frightening experience. A dangerous tsunami. A dangerous tsunami. A raging hurricane. A raging hurricane. Violent winds. Violent winds. A volcanic eruption. A volcanic eruption. Okay, good job. 
So let's see, and we have different expression in light and real language, yeah? For example, when you say, be careful, stay calm, watch out, okay, don't panic. Yeah, this is another expression that we use when we, okay, uh, are in a natural disaster, yeah? Be careful with the rock, okay? Stay calm in an earthquake, okay? Watch out, uh, maybe the water, yeah? And don't panic, yeah? Maybe if you are in an elevator, yes? Okay, so let's see, tomorrow we solve this exercise, yeah? Exercise on page 20, uh, let me see, 25, yeah? Tomorrow we solve this part. Okay, thank you for paying attention and see you tomorrow, yeah? Excellent work today. Bye-bye, God bless you a lot, yes? Okay. Okay, good job, see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we check one more time, yes? Okay, bye-bye.